Have you ever noticed how very beautiful, cute, easygoing, down to earth and often intelligent women end up lusting after bad boys? What's going on there? Why would a woman like that want a bad boy when there are so many good men who would treat her well? Well, that's actually one of the reasons why women like that end up lusting after bad boys. The thing is, if a woman is beautiful and she's a bit cute and friendly, down to earth and even intelligent, what happens is that most guys who have a chance to meet her will have a sexual and or romantic interest in her. As a result, they will be pretty tame around her. Right? Most guys are either going to be on their best behavior, trying to be really nice to her and suck up to her, or they're going to be on good behavior. And they're just going to be a neutral, straightforward guy. They want to show her that they're a good guy and they don't want to say or do anything that might annoy her or turn her off in any way. What happens for a lot of guys is that while they see many women that they find attractive, they don't actually get to properly meet many women that they find attractive and have a chance to talk to her and maybe get something to happen. So for a lot of guys, when they meet an attractive woman who has those type of qualities that many guys are looking for, such as being down to earth, easygoing and intelligent, the guy can't stop himself from showing a lot of interest or giving her relationship vibes. For example, asking her, do you have a boyfriend or just showing her that he really likes her and is hoping that something happens by the way that he's talking to her, by being really keen when he's talking to her and things like that. So when a woman comes across a bad boy or a good guy who is using the technique that I'm going to share with you now, it piques her interest. He stands out. She wants to impress him. She wants to get him to like her. So the bad boy attraction secret that good guys can use is to essentially give a woman an impression that says, you can't tame me. Most guys that she meets are tame around her. They want to say and do the right things to hopefully get a chance with her. Or some guys actually feel privileged to be interacting with the attractive woman. So they treat her well and with respect. This is often referred to as the halo effect, where it has been scientifically proven that attractive people are automatically seen as being smarter, nicer people, and more trustworthy and so on. So how a bad boy stands out and a good guy who uses this technique is that he comes across in a way that makes her see that she couldn't easily tame him and get him to want a relationship with her. She couldn't easily hold him down. She couldn't easily get him to be domesticated, so to speak, and be a boyfriend or a husband. She would need to really continue to impress him and make him feel attracted and not screw up her chance with him. Now, there are many ways that you can convey that to an attractive woman. In this video, I'll give you two examples. The first example, when you're talking to her, and the second example, after you've had sex with her. So, with the first example, when you're talking to her, when a woman asks the classic question of, what do you do for a living? Most guys are going to be tame about it. They are going to want to have a straightforward conversation with her. They don't want her to lose interest in talking to them, so they give their answers right away and try to give her good answers. Yet, what a bad boy or what a good guy who uses this technique will do is that he won't always answer her questions in a straightforward manner. For example, if a woman asks a typical tame guy what he does for a living, he might say, oh, I work in IT, how about you? And try to have a conversation with her about work. Whereas a bad boy or a good guy using this technique will answer in a different way. I work in IT, why? You like computer code? You wanna come home and write computer code with me? Is that what you're getting at? You don't look like the sort of girl who can write computer code. For you, it seems like computers are about checking Facebook and Instagram and things like that, right? And then have a laugh with her about that. Alternatively, he might say something like, I work in IT. I'm an IT nerd. You like nerds, don't you? You're into nerdy guys, aren't you? And then have a laugh with her about that. Alternatively, he might say something like, What do I do for a living? Why are you asking me silly questions like that? Is that all you got? Where'd you get that line from? The internet or something? Come on. Give me a better line than that. What do you do for a living? What are you going to ask me next? Do you have any brothers and sisters? Where are you from? Geez, you're a boring girl, aren't you? And then have a laugh with her about that. If she is an attractive woman who has that type of personality that most guys want to lock into a relationship or at least have sex with, then she is not going to be expecting a response like that. Pretty much every time she meets a guy, the guy instantly falls in love with her or the guy is on his best behavior or on good behavior or is treating her with extra respect because she is an attractive person. 
Yet a bad boy or a good guy using this technique doesn't give her that privilege. He doesn't think that he needs to bow down and be really nice because she is attractive. Additionally, what's really important here is that he is giving her the impression that she couldn't easily tame him. He is not instantly smitten by her and giving her relationship vibes. He's not trying to get anything from her. Instead, what he's doing is making her feel attracted to him by displaying personality traits and behaviors that are naturally attractive to women, such as being confident, being masculine, making her laugh, and so on. Now, the guy doesn't actually have to be a bad person to say that to a woman, as you can tell. There are some real bad boys out there who are bad people and are thugs and kill people and all that sort of stuff, but most bad boys aren't actually bad people. They just have a lot of confidence in themselves and women really like that. A contrast example to give you is about women. If you think about a woman who always dresses very conservatively and she doesn't show any cleavage, and she then sees a woman who is showing some cleavage and maybe wearing a short skirt. She might look at that woman as being a bad girl. Yet just because the woman is showing a bit of cleavage or has a short skirt on, it doesn't mean that she is a bad person. She might be a bit more of a bad girl than the woman who dresses in a conservative way, but she's not actually a bad person. The same goes for interacting with women. When a guy has the courage to occasionally talk to a woman in the way that I was giving you examples of earlier, it doesn't actually mean that he's a bad person. A woman might see him as a bit of a bad boy, and really nice guys might see him as a bad boy or a jerk, but he's not actually a bad person. He's just being a bit more confident and being a bit more masculine in the way that he talks to women than a really tame guy is being when he talks to women. The next example to give you is after you've had sex with an attractive woman. Most guys who get to have sex with an attractive woman will immediately go into relationship mode and many of those guys will start saying I love you very quickly. Many of the attractive women that I've slept with have confessed to me that guys instantly fall in love with them and they say I love you on the first date or leading up to sex or after sex and there's no challenge for the woman. The guy is instantly smitten and wants her for life in many cases. Now, if a guy wants to instantly fall in love with an attractive woman and show that to her, he can do that if he wants to. There's no one stopping him doing that. However, what he needs to understand is that if she is an attractive woman, then she has almost certainly experienced that again and again throughout her life. She wants a guy who is a bit more of a challenge for her. What attractive women really appreciate is when a guy is a good guy and treats her well, but also makes her feel like she needs to impress him. She needs to keep being attractive for him. She needs to be on her best behavior around him. Otherwise, he is going to lose interest. Unfortunately though, most guys don't have the courage to do that because they don't want to screw up their chances with the attractive woman who likes them. They want to make sure that they treat her well and show her that they are willing to do whatever she wants as long as she likes them. However, what she really wants is to be in a position where she feels like she needs to impress the guy as well, where he is not completely sold on her and she doesn't have to do anything else for the rest of her life other than just be with him. No, she doesn't want that. She wants a guy who makes her feel like she needs to continually impress him as well. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this video and learned something from it. If you'd like to learn more, I recommend that you read my ebook, The Flow, or listen to the audiobook version, The Flow on Audio. When you read The Flow or listen to The Flow on Audio, you will learn exactly what to say and do to make women feel attracted to you right away, to keep conversations going and keep them interesting, to get to a phone number, kiss, sex, date, and into a relationship if you want that as well. One final point that I want to make for you in this video is that women do like and want good guys. The answer to success with women is not to be a bad guy. You don't have to treat women badly in order for them to want you. However, what you need to keep in mind is that if a woman is attractive, then pretty much every guy that she meets gives her special treatment. They treat her nicer than they treat less attractive women in most cases. And they are usually on their best behavior or at least good behavior around her. So what stands out to a woman like that is a guy who isn't instantly smitten by her and isn't giving her special privileges just because she looks the way that she does. You can still be a good man and be good to her and have nice conversations. However, you need to make sure that you have the courage 
to also add in the types of things that I was talking about in this video where you're showing her that you're not easily tamed. She hasn't instantly won you over and if she does want to win you over, she has to turn on her charm and start showing you more interest and treat you better and impress you more and then you might really like her. So that's gonna be a lot more special to an attractive woman that she was able to use her charm and seduce a guy into a relationship and get him to love her compared to going through the usual experience of pretty much every single guy that she meets has a sexual or romantic interest in her and is immediately tame and is completely in love with her and just wants her. When a woman comes across a guy who isn't as easily tamed, she then feels more excited when she gets to hold his hand or when she gets to meet his family and friends compared to a guy who is hoping to hold her hand and he's gonna feel really special about that or he is excited to introduce her to his family and friends because he's so proud that he's got an attractive woman. What is more exciting to her is when she gets to hold the guy's hand and she is finally good enough in his eyes to be introduced to his family and friends. Now that's not to say that you have to delay the introduction to meeting your family and friends or you have to delay holding her hand. Those are just two examples of how things can play out when you're not easily tamed. If she happens to meet your friends right away, it doesn't matter. If you happen to hold her hand after an hour of meeting her, it doesn't matter. What is important though is that if she is an attractive woman, the overall impression that she should be getting from you is that you're not easily tamed. She is gonna to have to continue impressing you, being attractive to you, and treating you well in order to ensure that you don't lose interest in her. 